Hey guys, it's Ransom here from RackingNut.com. Today I want to show you the hidden loop in a serve. All right, so on your tennis serve, there's two things, two loops, two hidden loops in the, in the, um, in the serve. One of them, some pros you may or may not see, the second one is mandatory to get a faster, more controlled serve. First one, here on the take back. So I try to use in my tennis game gravity, and I explained this to a student of mine yesterday who I was on the court with, and uh, he actually asked me, he said, hey, can you send me some, uh, some pros of serves that you like that, that show what you're talking about? And I say, yeah, sure. So I'll send them over. I'm like, actually, I'll do one better. I'll make a video and send it to you. Um, so here I am making the, making the video. So anyway, let's get into it. So first loop, I try to use gravity on the way down. So rules of pendulum, if I release my racket and, or sorry, release my arm, let it go limp, rules of pendulum say it's going to return to about the same height, maybe a little lower on the backside. Now, what if I give it a little assistance down into gravity? So what I mean by that is instead of just going limp and dropping, I'm going to now push into the ground. It should go higher. So when I hit a tennis serve, I try to utilize gravity on both loops. So here's number one. Here's number two. I'll show you from a back view. So here's my first loop up here. Now I'm going to bend at the bicep, let the racket drop. And there's my second loop. So again, both times I'm using gravity. A lot of beginners, they try to muscle serves or they end up muscling serves because they're not doing either of those loops. They pull up and they push up. So again, both I'm fighting gravity, I'm muscling and I'm muscling. So when a lot of beginners have like sore shoulders, that's why. I could come out here, I haven't hit a serve yet. And here's my warm up. The speed was there. I don't have to come out and push and do a few, you know, like this. Sure, I could make that one, but again, I'm not getting, getting loose and relaxed, and I look very stiff doing that. So, now again, your first loop here, second loop here, and again, both times I'm utilizing gravity. I help it on the way down so it can get up, and I help it on the way down so I can get up, and that's where your speed comes from. So now, if I go limp from here with my arm, it's going to drop and come back to about there. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit of help. Now combined with a little bit of help in uncoiling or turning, that was pretty much me not giving any, any effort here. That's me going limp. And that's pretty fast for me not giving any effort whatsoever. So now when I step up and I want to give it some effort, it's very effortless, very smooth, very fluid. And again, I have gravity on my side assisting me. That same, go, that thing, same concept goes to the forehand. A lot of players go here and they drag the racket straight through, something like that. Now what I try to do is again, utilize gravity. I take it high up top, and now, I go to, now I'm going to go limp. Right, so that's me going limp with my arm. That pretty much resembles a tennis stroke. Now I'm gonna give it some assistance. Okay, exactly what a tennis swing is. So if you can utilize gravity on both sides, you're good. So let me show you what a lot of beginners do. Not only bring it straight back and pull straight through, but they also take it down low. And now, because I have no momentum, I'm stopped. Now when I go limp, that's as far as it goes. So what do I have to do? I have to help it on the way up. And now I end up muscling, and that's when your hand gets involved. Push up, pull up, whatever. Anyway, it's not a video on the forehand. It's on the serve. I'll make one for the forehand or, or for the ground strokes. But staying on track with the serve. So if you can get those two loops going, um, this one and the second one, behind your head. That will increase your miles per hour, increase your control because you don't need to try so hard. And you could do it whether it's one zero in the set in the first set or if it's six all in the third. Because again, very little effort. So again, a lot of beginners to kind of recap with what beginners do. They pull against gravity and they push again against gravity or pull, whatever you want to use. Pushing again, working against it both times, up and up. So anyway, my, my lesson from yesterday, he's I tried to get him doing this loop. So what you can imagine is like if LeBron or Shaq was behind you, hitting him in the chin. So hitting him up in the chin and then getting into that second loop. Now my client yesterday was starting to get that first loop, but the second ends up looking like this. And that's fine because again, it was day one, but he's starting to get this first loop to here and then his move is here and up. So again, you can see how it's muscled and effort as opposed to so one drill you can do is throw like two tennis balls into a soccer sock or something decently long and get it going like this. Or you can take your tennis racket, 
two fingers and just swing the motion and feel your racket going one fluid. Now if I start, so here's me fluid. Now if I start pulling and pushing, you can see how the racket's getting thrown off, off of its path. Here it's staying right on path. Guys, so that's a drill that you can do. Um, but that's the sensation you wanna feel. So again, here, up to the top, like gravity bring it back down. Now you'll see Kyrgios and Roddick, but again, they do this, they skip this first loop. So they pull, but they get to this position, they drop and fire. So again, that second loop is key. First loop, I, I really like that. That's why I like Walrinka's serve, is he's here and here. So that's why I like his serve being very effortless. So Walrinka, if you see this, if you come across your name being tagged, please share, um, even subscribe if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Um, well, hopefully that guys that helped you guys. Um, so please like, subscribe, comment if it did, comment if it didn't. Ask me any question you might have. I'll, I'll do a follow-up video answering some of those questions. Also, if you have any questions, please send them my way. Email them to me. I'll give you guys a shout out. Tell them where the question came from, and um, I'll answer you guys' questions as best I can. Have fun with your serve. Um, let me know how it goes. Even if you want, film your serve. Um, no matter where you are in the world, I can do a live online lesson through Zoom walk you through it and um, so that's on my my website racketnut.com and um, so give it a check and uh, yeah hopefully I can help your tennis game all right later guys